hello guys in the previous video we added these radio buttons to search by phone no by name or by identity card number now uh, let me just say by identity now what I'm going to do is just work with this uh, search button this button then we can perform search and add those data into this data grid view you can add this uh, data grid view from this toolbox by searching data grid view and then make sure you change this layout component identity which is called as name here in this uh, design section you can see this name change that into something like data grid view search result all right now in the previous video we configured our connection string from our database this is our database call hotel database and there is the uh, table call customers now what we are going to do is just search from that table there is that customers now double click on this button and then here we have some uh, else if statement using this is if else statement we are identifying whether user have selected id search as the search option or name search or phone no search all right now uh, in this first if statement uh we are going to say all right uh, in the top we can say uh, con dot connection string what i'm doing here is in the top we have this variable sql connection con is equals to new sql connection and we have the connection string we have our connection string private string connection string is equals to at and then string how I can got this I got this by saying save explorer and right clicking on the database and go to properties I can copy it is connection string from here all right now then uh, what I have done here is I'm saying connection that means that uh, variable dot connection string is equals to our connection string variable okay now uh, the next thing we are going to create some SQL command we can say SQL command cmd is equals to new SQL command And then here, uh, instead showing this message, I'm going to comment that out. Then I will say cmd dot command text is equals to select all from table name which is uh, customers, and then we are the column column name uh, is for identity number is identity no n letter is capital identity no is equals to now i have to pass an string here to pass an string we can say single quotations inside that double quotations inside double quotations we can say plus plus now we can say what is the variable name is now my variable name is uh, here we don't have that yet that means the text of the uh, search box it is identifier is uh, text box one I'm going to change this into text box search 
like that in the search option we can see a uh, search box text otherwise let's declare some variable we can say a uh, string text to search is equals to a uh, text box search dot text to a string I'm going to move this into top of a if else statement so I can able to use this that text below of this if is else if is statement now uh, I can say plus plus text to search all right now uh, we have to execute this to execute what we are going to do is just load those data into our data grid view we can simply uh, directly load into the data grid view I'm going to just uh, open some course that I added earlier here these are those codes uh, here we have created adapt is equals to new SQL adapt what is those I will show you now in the top I have declared a variable called SQL data adapter you have to do this you have to add SQL data adapter and variable name for that also data table in this data table we are going to store all the data that we are going to read from database now uh, go back to the code and then here uh, we don't have to say uh, SQL command now uh, we can avoid this using that is my mistake but we need this query okay we need this query I'm going to just cut that including all uh, double quotations and then here we can say adapt is equals to new SQL adapter SQL data adapter and then inside parentheses inside parentheses we can pass in those uh, SQL commands in this case select all from customers we are like that here uh, we have some error that is as the second argument we have to pass in what is the connection is SQL connection that is con all right now uh, we can go into the next one next line it is dt data table is equals to new data table and then parentheses okay now what we are going to do is using adapter adpt we can fill data into our data table dt pass in dt now we can load data into our data grid view data grid view search result i will set uh, dot data source is equals to dt now uh, i am going to do this uh, for other if else statement we can copy these and paste that in the below else if statement here we are searching from name search selected uh, I'm going to add some uh, little change here by specifying this percentage symbol to the left of the value and also to the right of the value then 
uh, we can simply uh, we can simply define in the value if there are uh, particulars uh, in this case we are searching text to search as uh, identity now in the identity now value if there are any value inside of that value as this uh, text to search it will return so we can uh, say percentage symbol here also identity number percentage symbol percentage symbol but here we should search using name name will be this uh, customer name okay now i'm going to do this similar to my next one I'm going to comment this uh, phone now selected if we said if else statement and here the column name is uh, customer phone the value should be text to result text to search that is fine now I'm going to just go ahead and run to see these are working or not admin one two three four here there are some value with uh, customer two I'm going to type uh, customer2 here and then search by name and then search Oops, uh, there I said I uh, adapt.fill okay uh, I cannot uh, find out the error. What is that? Select all from customers where custom na customer name is a equals to. Let me go ahead and use some try catch. Then we can directly uh, print the message. Catch exception ex. We can print using message box. I will search using customer2 name incorrect syntax near customer2 I guess that is happening because of this uh, percentage symbol we will fix that later but uh, let me try by removing this percentage symbol
now uh, admin pass at this one two three four I'm going to search by customer to by name search you can see those data has been received into our search result in the next video we are going to see if I select something from here those data should be come into this place also we are going to uh, uh, directly add data into this position then we can do update and delete okay and I'll see in the next lesson thank you